All right, so I picked up some stuff from, uh, this is a, a repeat customer. Um, I did, last time I think I picked up some stuff from these guys, it was truck and trailer, and I think Brian helped me. <clears throat> it was a lot of heavy stuff, but uh, this was, I guess their uh, dishwasher one on the Hummer, and I got, uh, it's a battery charger, so it'll have a nice big uh, copper piece in it. It could be copper aluminum motor, I don't know, it, it's hard to say. We got some brass on here, we got a big old brass piece more here from i'm guessing a shower <clears throat> and then we got some steel uh there's a fan over there some more stuff on the other side guys i think there's some copper pieces on the back side over there way over there on the other side of the truck <clears throat> but i did have the lift on guys i haven't taken it off because yeah i never know if my shoulder's gonna work or if it's gonna be like a slinking go nope not gonna work today so i just leave the, the lift on because the shoulder's shot i think <clears throat> And I'll tell you, I'm glad I did, because that dishwasher is fairly heavy, yeah, for being plastic or whatever, I guess. Well, I guess it's not. I guess it's stainless, I guess. You can see it. It is metal underneath, so that's what it is. So that's what I got on the truck. I got to throw this stuff off <clears throat> in my own scrapyard today. Um, I don't know. I got to go and check on my mom and make her lunch and stuff, um, so... It is new, and I told the lady I'd pick this stuff up at a specific time, so I went and did that for her and get that done. <clears throat> and that's about it right now. I don't know what else I'm doing yet. Um, I got to go and check on the goats, let them run around for a while. I'm going to let them out, just let them run around. So they'll be out for a couple hours, and then uh, <clears throat> I'll put them away, and then I'll let them out again a couple hours before dark. So usually get about four or five hours, usually they'll get out. So running around right now, especially when it's a beautiful day. It's nice and sunny today, as you guys can see. Which is nice for the goats. Here, I'll give you guys. I'll let the go let the goats out. So we'll let them out so they can. They're whining at me. They want out. So let's go do that. That muck on the ugh, ugh, a little slippery there. I guess I need to throw some sand here. <laughs> oh, there's my little munchkin. There's my munchkin. <laughs> there's copper. All right, let's go let the goats out. They they picked that one right clean. There's nothing left. There's the odd one left here, I guess. One piece there. All right, let's see what we got here. They're whining at me. They want it, it's what they want. There's the girls. Come on, come on, goat herder, you're going in. No, we're going in. We're going in. So the goat herder's going in, these guys can run around. All right, I got a hold of her. I got her by her harness. So, come on. Well, I got some wood in it. It's going in the back. It's, uh, I think it's still going underneath. Yeah, it's got some coals underneath, so it'll catch and it's catching in the back, so it'll all catch up. It's all pine again. I won't throw anything while that big piece there is even pine, guys, believe it or not. <clears throat> it was heavy, but I got it in there. So we'll let that burn. I'll come back out and check it around 9 o'clock, 9.30 for bedtime. The furnace is at 162 right now. So it still throws heat in the house at 162. It roughly rounds off. The uh, blower stays open until 185. So, And my wood pile is diminishing, guys. Look at all, how much has gone out of that. Even though it's mild, guys, it's still got to feed the stove because it's like, like tonight's supposed to be minus nine again. So we are getting chilly nights still. Nice warm days, like I think it's around one, plus one, minus one. Sorry to run that, minus two. So, and that's all I got left for the hardwood. It's my chair to sit on while I'm sitting here making sure the stove closed before I go in. I make sure it's going good before I go in. I don't want it to die out. Because a lot of it has ice on it, right? A lot of this here, so I have to make sure that I put enough dry stuff in the back so it'll melt the ice off it. But yeah, I'm gonna get the tractor out. I didn't get it out today, I uh, got other stuff done instead. I had the pickup to do, you guys saw. Um, and I had to do grocery shopping, I had to pick up my mom's stuff that she wanted tonight. So yeah, and uh, tomorrow my mom has her urinate appointment. Uh, I don't got any plans for Thursday, so scrapyard, I guess, because tomorrow I won't go because in case something happens and I don't make it back in time or something. So unless she cancels for some reason, she's not feeling good. So it's up to her. She'll tell me in the morning how she feels. If so, then we'll go for three o'clock tomorrow and then uh, whatever most of my day will be. But the it dies down on me. I got to wait till it gets going really good before I close that baby up and then I'll go in. I haven't even made supper yet. Peg's here, so maybe she made mom supper, but it's like not quite dark out as you can see. But that's the end of my day, guys, for until I come back out to fill the stove up for night. So my stove eats a lot of wood because it's a big house. 
It's a four bedroom plus my mom's, which is about technically five bedrooms, full basements, big kitchen. Like, I mean, this big white piece right here, this is all the kitchen, guys. This is kitchen. It's all kitchen. It goes right from there to there. That's kitchen. My mom's room is on the other side. Uh, my bedroom, my YouTube room, and then the other side, it's your spare rooms on the other side. Which we got to tear all the siding off here this year. It's all got to come off. All the siding's got to come off. Because we're doing siding on the top. And then we had window and door on the other side to go in. Because we got all the siding, all the new siding on here and along this side. And then we started putting the insulation board on the other side. So, but that's our size of our kitchen. It's pretty big. We have a big family though, guys. But anyhow, you guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.